And now, breaking through from the Apple News Center, it's Apple News Break Update. Tonight with Mary Diltz in the studio and Gary Williams in the field in Cupertino. Good evening. Our top news story comes to us from Apple Computer in Cupertino, California. To continue that history of breaking through, Apple announced today their exciting new product, HyperCard. Our news update team was at Apple today and found out that HyperCard is a personal toolkit for creating, customizing, or using information the way you want. HyperCard is an information hub. It uses files known as stacks, which contain cards of related information, such as a stack of address cards. Cards represent information that can be made up of text and graphics. Cards also have buttons, and it is when you click on these buttons that the process all begins. And HyperCard can take you to any card of related information in the same stack, or even to other stacks. No other tool matches HyperCard's power and ease of use for applications requiring the linking of various kinds of information. To learn more about HyperCard, we talked earlier with its creator, Bill Atkinson. We found Bill getting ready for Macworld and asked him about his brainchild, just what it is and why. I view um, sort of the Macintosh has the operating system at the bottom, or the hardware at the bottom, then the operating system, and then the toolbox, the menus and quick draw and windows, mouse handling stuff, um, and then sort of a big gap, and then programmers up there who make it accessible using the toolbox to customers. And somewhere in between the programmer and the toolbox needs to be a layer that allows customers to get their hands on the capability of the Macintosh. That's what HyperCard can do. Well, now that we're intrigued, I'd like to go now to our technical reporter who's over at Apple, Gary Williams. Hi, Mary. I'm here in Cupertino covering the excitement of today in HyperCard. I interrupted you because you were talking about browsing, and I thought it might be easier to show everyone right here on the screen just how it works. To start the whole process, you just double-click on the HyperCard icon. And we bring up the first card, which is known as the Home Card. Mary, this is like a directory for all your HyperCard stacks. It's on this Home Card that all the icons you see are actually buttons. And by simply clicking an icon, you access the stack pictured. You can always return to the home card from any card just by clicking on the home icon, which looks like a small house. HyperCard presents information on cards just like index cards and even has full Mac Paint menus for creating graphics. What I feel makes HyperCard so special, though, is that it enables us to link any piece of information on one card to information on other cards. You link cards to organize information in absolutely whatever way is most useful to you. When you talk about browsing and retrieving information, it goes like this. Let's say you often travel on business to foreign countries, and you need instant access to comprehensive information about those countries. Recently, you've been assigned to go to France, and you need some answers to common questions like how to convert dollars to francs, what the weather is this time of year, and what kind of transportation is available. What do you do? The solution is HyperCard. All you need to do is buy and use a stack of travel information, such as this stack called Business Class. You would tell HyperCard where you are presently located relative to the city or country for which you want information, and tell HyperCard the current conversion rate of exchange from the foreign currency to your currency. Let's say the rate is six francs to the dollar. We'll enter six. We then select the country or capital city for which we want information. You'll see a map of France and several icons, which are really buttons all along the bottom of the card. From these buttons, you can click to access all kinds of information about France. Suppose you have 5,000 francs. We use the currency converter to see how many US dollars those 5,000 francs are worth and vice versa. And once you've finished, you just click on the home button. 
Well, Mary, that gives you a good description of browsing and retrieving with HyperCard. Our next story is about using HyperCard to add or change information in a stack. Now, earlier today, we found out who might use this and why. HyperCard has five levels for using it, um, and they range uh, to be a nice, easy transition from one to the next. Uh, the lowest one is browsing, in which you just click on things and look around. The next level up is typing. You can make new cards and type information into them. That's the level you would use if you just want to use your address book to keep names and addresses in it. Um, you can make new cards, you can type into them, you can browse around, but you can't uh, draw pictures, which is the next level, uh, painting. Uh, in painting, you can get the tool palette, which um, has on it uh, a lot of tools for painting that you recognize if you've ever used Mac Paint. Actually, these are better. Um, you can uh, draw on the card and um, you know, make all kinds of pictures. You can change the fonts or sizes of fields that it displays information in. You can copy a button that dials a phone from one stack where you're already using it. You can paste it into another stack you're using and make that stack dial the phone. So you can customize it to make the application work the way you want the application to. And that's making the computer work the way you want it to, not the way the person who programmed it wanted to. Let's see how this works by going back to our roving reporter uh, who doesn't quite seem to be roving anymore, but still at the Macintosh keyboard. Hello, Mary. You know, this is really something. <laughs> and Gary, we've just learned about adding and changing existing cards, so why don't you show us how it really works? I'd be glad to show you. HyperCard provides you with the ultimate organizer. Let's see. Suppose you are a busy executive and have piles of information around you, but no way to easily or quickly get from one piece of information to another. That is, without spending a lot of time searching for this or that book. You need one way to organize everything. And that's what this is. HyperCard comes with lots of useful stacks to help you out. All the tools you need for a personal organizer are included, such as an address book. This is a stack where you can keep all your important names and addresses. There's also a date book, which includes a monthly calendar, a week-at-a-glance memo book, and things-to-do list. You can use this to organize your daily tasks and to keep track of meetings and social events. Then there is a file index, which is a set of file cards set aside for whatever you need to file. And last, but certainly not least, there's a phone card that actually dials your telephone. It includes a button to access area codes. To open up the address book, I just click on the address stack. Here, I can sort by first name, last name, or date. I can click on the browse button and flip through the cards as they appear in the stack. I can then add a new name, address, and phone information to an existing stack, and I can even automatically dial that number. If at any time I want to go back and review a card I've already seen, all I need to do is click on Recent from the Go menu, and I'll see the last 42 cards. They will all appear on the screen at once, and I just need to then click on the individual card I want, and it will automatically appear on the screen. Let's close with a final comment from Bill Atkinson. There was a message of love and excitement that was poured into Macintosh, and people got it. They, they feel that when they use it. When you use a Macintosh, they feel it, okay? Whatever, whatever mood or ex, uh, feeling an artist has as they're making their art get, comes through in the product. And even though you don't meet directly the people who painted that painting, you know something about them from the feel of the painting. That happens with a program, too. I hope that HyperCard um, will show some of the openness that I'm feeling.